good morning designer welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing amazing great this morning i'm going to unveil to you the secret behind my flyer design in this tutorial there is a lot of line as i do say but this is a special one because i'm going to bring out that creativity to you with this short training on how to come up with a particular design most especially flyer kindly watch to the end as i'm going to unveil my secret to you please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos without wasting much of our time let's start with today's tutorial decography skills with creativity evening guys welcome back to my training and this is the cool graphics design training class here yeah, i want to show you how to start the training on how you can master and design professionally using your smartphone you see here yeah, i will make sure i will try as much as possible to simplify everything one after the other for me to be able to bring another or uh, let me say knowledge into what i'm designing for you to grab it because if we say we should start afresh and from the uh, basics aspect you will still be confusing because some of us can design it's just that uh, we lack the application of it or let me say the basic principle of it so in a nutshell i will make sure that uh, i'm explaining and simplify how i will be going about the design i'm going to be uh, 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 using as a tutorial the uh, uh, um or uh, let me say the method i'm going to be using i will make sure that it is being simplified and uh, understandable for you to be able to grab and learn another thing as a result of that now i want to design the flyer and that flyer i had only one resources i download an image you can actually download image anywhere you can go to google search for png image in hd format hd format means hd means higher resolution that is the clean one and that is the what this is the, that is the peak that is the top uh, quality so you can go to pin interest you can search for any images there i got only one then i want to use it to design how can you cover out a design bring out your own idea so from there be able to grab something so without wasting much of our time that is the introduction aspect of what i'm going to do so now the first thing to do whenever you want to make any design determine your size and if you don't know any size or anything don't worry you can go to google that's why google is there type of anything how the size will look like how do they you can see the template of uh, the sizes and the this lab is complete because you can look at it all this thing is just for come it's not for camouflage it's to guide us if you don't know about any size you can pick any of these size whether you want to uh, do anything for provide picture the size is there youtube banner size we have the youtube thumbnail we have the facebook cover google plus cover we have twitter header size so all this thing is for social media but if you want to print something out outside this that is where the custom is there so without wasting much time i want to use the square which is what the length will be the same with the bread that is the width will be same with the height and i will click okay the next thing determine the background i want to use the white background then i will go and import the image let me import the image of what i'm going to and this is the only resources i told you that i got so having got these resources i want to bring out design on this how can i i don't know about color i don't know anything about color and all that so i want to use this to get the color and do any other things so what can i do now i have to click on this after clicking on this, then I will generate a color from this cloth. I will use the color picker. So I will use the color picker, then pick the color here. I want to use the color picker, pick the color that I want. Now let me pick this. Let me pick this. So pick this. Let's see. I don't want this. Let me still use the color picker, pick this. 
Let me see whether this is okay. I don't want this. I think this one look like black. I don't want this. Yes, this is what I want. So I will just pick this one. This one is okay. Because whenever you are combining color, I want you to put something at the back of your mind. When you are combining color, we don't place the light color on top of light background. Are you getting it? Don't place the light object on top of light background. It will be rhyme. It won't be very it won't be obvious and attractive attracting are you getting it what we normally do is that we play the light background on top of the uh, uh, uh on top of the hard background deep one that is what we normally do so and as you can see i want to this is minus five then i will i will position it well like this i'll position it well so you can see i will copy the same thing I will rotate it. This one will be minus six. Let's say it minus six. Then this one you will use it to cover it a little bit. You can see. So after you are able to use it to cover like this, the next thing you will do is to lock the two. When you lock them, they won't be able to move from one place to another. Now you select another one. Use your color picker. This is where we are going to use texture. Are you getting it? You use your color picker, use the texture, and come here. You see, this is the first color. This is the second color. What is the texture? Texture will allow you to combine two or more color. Two or more color. So here, you can you see the plus sign, you see the minus sign. This plus sign telling you that you can add. You see, it's three. You can minus. But in texture, it cannot work. It's either is two key or more. It can be one. You can minus again. It's only two key. That's why it's special. So now, how is it? You click on this one. Now, use your color picker to come to the class. Then, we pick the red color. You see? Then, click the second key. Click the color picker. Use the color picker to click the... This color. Something like this. Let's say this. Uh, this. Let's let pick this. So good. We are able to get that. So as you can see. So after we are able to pick that. So we are good to go. So as you can see. This is it. The next thing we are going to do is that we are going to feed it. So after that. We will expand it like this. We will expand it like this. You expand it to this level. You can expand it to this level. So after you are able to expand it, don't let it go down like this. Reduce the size. You can actually reduce the size. So reduce the size like this. Let it reach here. So after that, the next thing is to come and reduce the what? Reduce the opacity to be its. 80 then the next thing you will do is to lock it are you getting it lock it lock it so let me adjust this color or let's leave it that way so the next thing that we are going to do is to do our right or before that i want to do some other things i will come here use the color the same color picker which we have already generated the color already. I don't need that again. I will position it here. You see where I position it. I will make sure that it enter like this. So as you can see. So I will make sure it come out a bit. Then position it here. So as you can see, that one is okay. Then I will copy another one. Reduce the size. Reduce the size and position it here. I'm just doing it that way because I want something uh, uh, attractive and communicating. Not that maybe I have the design on ground and you know, 
I, I'm, I'm trying at least to be creative and bring out something new something new that is what i'm trying at least to do so you can actually bring because this one i want it to be the location where i will put my website are you getting it so this is where i want to put my website so i will i will, I will, I will make this the place i want the place to set after that the next thing i will do is that i will do i will bring out the round circle then use the same color then i will reduce it this one will meant for where i will put my logo my logo will be here the next thing i will do now is to go there i will go here i will i, will, I, I need to make some design three two three and this is how they form this thing three then i will come here give it a white color then i will come to line spacing then reduce the line spacing like this as you can see then if i want it to be more okay i can give it a line spacing like this the space the space will be like that then give it a white stroke to make it more deep as you can see then i can increase increase it this way can you see come to my stroke and look at how many stroke i give it two is okay then after I do that, I will position it here. So I've set that. That one will be here. We need to follow the principle of alignment. That is, everything must be rhyme. Are you getting it? This one now, we are going to do another one. This one will be six. Are you getting it? We have to make it to be six. So I will do like this. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. One, Two, three. Then after that, I'm able to do that. Can you see? So I will rotate it like this. I will rotate it like this. It will be six. Then I will position it here. So can you see? So after that, I will I will copy and I will copy this one and bring it here. I will copy it and bring it here. Can you see? I will copy it again, which is uh, this. Sorry. I will copy it. Since it is 6, I need just two area. So I will make it like this. Can you see? Or I will make it 3 and let it go back. So this one will actually go back. So after going back, I will increase like this. Bring this one like this then i can still bring it up like this you're getting it but i will make sure that this line accommodate two that is what i want to do i'll make sure it take two sorry i just want it to be okay so can you see it's okay like this after that i will lock everything i don't want it to be moving from one place to another i don't want so after i lock it the next thing that remains is right up this is the most important aspect your what your brand name you see online cars that is your objective you want people to see it that there will be an online cast so in such a situation what you need to do is that you must make this thing to be very obvious that online course must be very very obvious that people don't need to look at it that what is this design is all about it's all about online cars before you even write other thing it must be what it must be noticeable and that is what we're going to do and you, this one that one will lead you to which kind which type of font can you going to are you going to to use or to introduce that will be very bold and communicating so and that is what when i work we have category of them like this one i'm using which is called achievo as you can see you see this is a achievo you see it sorry achievo board uh -huh. that is the font i'm using so as you can see so that's the first one achievo board so you write it then you position it here you position it here this is achievo 
then give it color white because if i give when i give it a lighter color the lighter color did not allow the color of the test to show then you don't need to do another one just copy that is what i did there let me delete it i place on a copy it because i don't i want to use the same font so i don't need to go write on separate line go and choose the same font no i will just copy the same thing then i will edit it delete what i put there so whatever i write i've already maintained the same font so this is online course can you see this is online course then you must make it close a little bit this thing is just what is just example when you are writing in this school can you do you understand when you are writing can, the way you write how will you start how will you start a writing so you you use the application of that into this you can't just write haphazardly you have to put things into consideration too so i'm trying at least to maintain the rule of alignment here so that is what i'm even telling you because it's either you make sure that you justify to the left when you justify to the left no, it doesn't no, it's not that like, it's not that it's not like uh, you are writing from the left you know but whatever you please when you start writing from anywhere make sure that uh, you you everything is uniform and that is what i'm doing here so after that we will have another write-up which i've already copied to my to the clipboard so this is how we started it i said who is ready for digital right to stardom we are expanding the league are you a content creator aspiring to be one join the train so can you see and here i don't need the uh need it to be very obvious once i've already directed them so i need another just small font and it will be very small right up so i want to use the sound the sound family font so i need the sound family font so let's look at it source sound so you see it so it's not very obvious uh, font but it's still okay for designing so you will now reduce the size give it a color so i'm giving it a color then you position it here so as you can see you position it at the bottom like this you see then you now make sure that everything you come to align align to the left align to the center align to the right that is what this one means so always align to the left then use your hand to stretch it the mouth must be closed it's like you are writing a note so whenever you are writing a note you make sure that uh, you started from the beginning and you hand well but if you are just writing without maintaining the alignment your note will not even be uh simple to read are you getting it so you need to put all those things into consideration so as you can see so then after that you make sure that it come down a little bit you give it a space to breathe are you getting it give it a space to breathe and we can still increase increase then do it like this let it give it a space so this is okay then you you make sure that it come down a little bit let this one come down a little bit so after that when is the training monday to friday monday to friday that is the training day so the next thing is that choose the kind of font that you want i want to choose roboto roboto font why i want to choose roboto i know those font offered because i know how they appear how they look like so you need to master them i want to use roboto you see immediately i search is it come because it stand alone always stand erect and very tall i like it i want it to be at the center that is the one that can be obvious here yeah. i don't need to i don't need to use any you see it stand out and stay at the middle so that is the font i want to um, try to use so after that then i will write the time i will maintain the same font just copy and edit it just say 9 a.m or let's say 9 let me say 7 p.m it will be 7 p.m then that one will be at the center can you see it will be at the center 
So after you are able to do that, the next thing you are going to do is that. In say you say online course and you talk about the digital underneath then what is the topic of that course? And I say graphics, put it in, in quotes. In quotes, you say graphics, graphics, smartphone graphics. smartphone graphics graphics master class then quote it like this then you have to watch this is the area where you need to make it obvious because people who are, who are eager to know then we have another font apart from dark uh, achievable black we can still use Archivo Black or we use a leak spatter. But I want to maintain the Archivo Black. Are you getting it? Archivo Black. Then you reduce it. Reduce the size and give it a what? You reduce the size like this. Give it the color. So you can see. So this is what this is. Smartphone graphic master class. So here that you want to do it that way. You can't use the left justification just use enter that is what can make it okay if you use the left justification it will be very very it will stand out and it won't be okay that's why i'm using this and as you can see i've already used that so after you place it at the center now let's complete it by bringing out a little then you you are calling the attention the attention to join that is what you are doing so just carve out a small thing like this. That one we 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 caught the attention. We make it obvious. Then you write join now. Join now. That join now. The phone that you are going to be using for what you want them to see. You are concluding. It must be obvious. It must be a phone that will be, that will stand out. So I want to use intro font. You see it. It stand out. Then I will use the color that will, what that will be attracting, the same color that we select. Then you reduce the size and position it at the center like this. Just expand this. Expand it. Then you position it here. You can see. So position it like this. So you see join now. Then the next thing that you are going to do is to write your website or your phone number. Are you getting it? Just pick on the this and you write your phone number, which is uh, or let's say the uh, website decographics. Decographic.com. You can see. Then I will come here, come and pick if the phone that will stand out and will be very bold a little bit, Roboto. I want to lose that the look at the board roboto because it's always stand out i like it so you can have your favorite font as well not that maybe i learned that no uh, but based on the idea or the knowledge i acquire i'm able to know all those font of it and i know how they look like because of the way i'm familiar with it are you getting it so you can actually reduce this a little bit then do it like this then how will you make this black to be darker just reduce scroll make it like this you see it if you do it this way it won't be too much dark but you want it to be darker just do it like this you see it let the first key be at the right the second key at the left then this one will be at the uh, right as well then you check it you see it's very dark if you want the black to be too dark some people don't know how to do that so this is it and we are able to complete the design so as you can see we have achieved design when you look at it it's very very work very simple then we are missing something that's the only thing that remains which is our logo so you must have your logo already designed then let's select the logo and bring it forward so i have my own logo which is this so i will just position my logo here so can you see i position my logo here then the next thing i will write my name 
and I might not write any name, DG. Anybody who sees the DG, they will know that this ecograph is. And you can put the right up there, the ecograph is. But my website has already defined something about me. So that is that about how to make this. And as you can see, only picture is necessary. And those are the font that I use. Watch it. And how to download the font is very simple, which I'm going to do that in this next tutorial. Thanks for watching. God bless you.